Last year I had to go to first grade again. All the kids made fun of me and I didn't like it. I stuttered a lot, so people used to make fun of me and calling names, and you know, like Stutter Monkey was one of the big ones. Names they would call, stuff that just making fun of our family. They created a fake Facebook account of my little brother and said bad things about our family on that. You feel powerless when you're being bullied. There was a girl last year who had to leave the school because someone hacked her Facebook and they posted stuff all over it. A lot of kids in the U.S. like aren't going to school because of bullying, so I just like trying to stop it. Like I just don't like it. When I was younger, I had a medical condition that I would sweat in my palms. I was really embarrassed and it was really hard because when it was really, really hot, I had to wear sweatshirts and it caused a lot of problems. I was fainting a lot and there was nothing I could really do about it, but I would rather faint than be humiliated. I'm Razor Rob McCullough, the former World Extreme Cage Fighting Lightweight Champion. I'm Quinn Rampage Jackson. I'm the former UFC Light Heavyweight Champ. I'm Michael DeCount Bisping. UFC fighter. I'm former light heavyweight champion Tito Ortiz. I've been competing in the Ultimate Fighting Championship for 15 years. Hey, my name is Zab Judah. I'm a champion five times. <laughs> I'm UFC President Dana White, and I'm here to talk to you about bullying. Bullies are the biggest kind of coward you can ever meet. They have inner emotional problems that they're going through in their mind, so they're looking at, you know, I'm going to take my size and my energy out on someone else smaller than me and take advantage of someone else. The bullies probably, I think, are like going through a tough time in their life. So I think they just let it all out just by just like hurting people. You know, there's not many things I hate, but I, I hate bullies. If you really want to know the truth, you know what I'm saying, I bully bullies. I know two wrongs don't make it right, but somebody got to stand up and fight. Bullies only pick on other people to make themselves feel better about themselves. Bullies are weak and scared. That's why they don't want to come down and train in mixed martial arts. They feel a need to pick on smaller, weaker people. If you're a kid that has problems at home, either being neglected or abused, if you're a kid that just doesn't feel good about themselves and is taking it out on other kids, by getting involved in some form of physical exercise, it's a way to channel that energy and channel it in a positive way. Just go to the gym. Just let all your anger out there. A place like LA Boxing to do you great. You could come in here, you could bully that bag over there. I'm talking about you could bully it all day. It ain't gonna get tired. <laughs> it's not gonna get tired, you know what I mean? You could hit that speed bag, you could jump some rope, you could go pick up the heaviest weights in the gym. It's not gonna get tired. So that's where you'd be a bully at. I run the biggest fight organization in the world. We have fighters who fight for many different reasons. Some fight for money, some fight for fame, and some fight to prove that they're the best in the world. I started my fighting career at 16 at LA Boxing. I fight for many reasons, but I don't fight to be a bully. I fight because it's part of my family tradition. The sportsmanship. I fight for many reasons. I'm a competitor, and I'm pretty good at this sport. But the main reason I do it is for my family. I fight to live, I fight to eat. To let out aggression, for pride, and for competition. I fight for the three Fs. My faith, my family, and my friends. I'm an athlete, and I love to compete and challenge myself. I fight for my family. I fight for my fans because I love it. And I fight because I love to train hard and see my hard work pay off. You know, I fight for a living. I fight so I can put my kids through college. There's nothing wrong with fighting for the right things. To be a fighter is to be the best you possibly can be. If you're going to be a bully, you're not a fighter. I just totally, totally despise bullies. So if you're a bully out there, don't let me catch you. There's one reason that all fighters have in common that they never fight for. They never fight to bully anybody. I do mixed martial arts for a number of reasons, but one reason I don't do it for is to be a bully. The reason I don't fight is to be a bully. The one thing I don't fight for is because I'm a bully. I fight for a lot of reasons, but I don't fight to bully. There's one reason that I don't fight and that's to be a bully. But I never fight to be a bully. Talk to your parents, talk to someone, seek help. I'm telling you, it's gonna help you and you're gonna be happy as I am today. You know who you are. The people who are important to you know who you are and you can't let someone else tell you who you are, tell you who you're gonna be. Try to find someone else to confide in, someone else to talk to. I play soccer. I sweat a lot through my shirt. Everyone is always complimenting me on how much I sweat because it shows how hard I work. 
so now it's, I turn it into a positive thing. I did this whole interview and I didn't even break a sweat. Join our fight to stop bullying. If you're being bullied, tell somebody, let it out.